So we worked with a custom design for the membership site. And so what happens is, is you log in and then you get to the welcome page and then there's this sort of uh, navigation bar that you can find everything. Um, but what we've found is really nice is that you go in and you get started and it really kind of walks everyone through the journey of like what to expect. Here's what the, here's what the members area looks like. You know, I think that is one thing that I've noticed is like people sometimes don't realize that there is a whole back end members <laughs> area. Like they get stopped at the Facebook page and then they forget to log in. So what we've really worked on is, is getting people back here and, you know, connected to that and setting up that sequence of events once they sign up as an empress. So yeah, so it just kind of has this where to start, what to do, and where to go, and kind of what you're working towards in the members area. So this is all um, custom designed, and you know, a lot of questions that we get around the custom design is that, you know, is it, do you need it? And it's, and we always tell people like, there's so many options out there that, you know, you don't need a custom design. Um, so then we've got, you know, all of our lessons here. So if you start with the self-source scheduling roadmap, this is like one of our core principles of teaching. And so we really have a whole section where they're learning about it and um, what to do. So it's like all the information, the images, and then we have the action items, what to do, things like that. We have noticed, and what I'm starting to tell people too with membership sites is start with less, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can always add, but we started with delivering four pieces of content a month, right? So the first, you know, we had the how-to lesson, we have a Maven masterclass, we have a Q&A, and then we had like an Empress spotlight. And what we realized is that we really needed an implementation week for people to fully digest the month's deliverables. Because even though the content only takes about two, two and a half hours to consume, it's still a lot coming at people. So if, if people aren't able to get to it week by week, you know, at some point in the month, they're going to need space to do that. And so we actually took what we took feedback, like, what are you reading most? What are you listening to most? And we actually took away the Empress Spotlight and we do it a little bit differently, like in the Facebook group now. But what happens is that then people have that much more space and they're less likely to get overwhelmed. We've just really tried to implement this sort of, you know, spaciousness around it. And, and I think that's worked really well for our retention. So what I always tell people is less is more. So if you're starting a membership group, start with a, a lower price point and two deliverables a month, right? Just to kind of get a rhythm. You can always raise the price. You can always add more information. Let's say, I'll give you an example. Let's go to the monthly content section. So here is everything that we do. We also, we also offer a weekly cosmic weather with Jennifer Rassiopi. Um, and, sh and that's great because that's like a digestible read. You read it digestible each month, but they're still getting a lot of great information, but now they're not overwhelmed with the lessons. So you go in and now we have all of these how to lessons that are a library of information. So as we offer you know, three pieces of content a month instead of the four, they can still go in and find what they need in past things. That's, of course, as you and I know, like that's the beauty of a membership group is you have access to the whole library that's already been released regardless of when you signed on. So that, that's something that I'm, I'm always looking at is how can we make it so it's palatable for the people that join so they're getting the most out of their membership experience? If they feel overwhelmed, what do we do about that? I mean, the question is always like, how much do I offer? How much do I offer? And I'm always like, less is more. Plus, it's mm -hmm. less for you to plan each month, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's like make it sustainable for yourself as the site owner. And exactly. it's more sustainable for the members too. So it's kind of counterintuitive, but I like that. Yeah, it really is because I think we – you know, we really want people to feel like they're getting the value, you know, I mean, that is, we want to over deliver, we want to, we want to give more than, you know, they expect. And that's great. And with membership sites, we find that the delivery of stuff is like, they're already feeling like, gosh, I get a lot, you know, so it's, it's a little bit different in that way than a course 
Yeah. And I think everyone is like starting from a very generous place. <laughs> so I don't think we need to like over, you know, overdo <laughs> it, if that makes sense. <laughs> exactly. Like I think, you know, as entrepreneurs, generally speaking, if we are making our way in the world, we have given a lot and continuously given a lot. And so have confidence. <laughs> this is a PSA for everyone. Have confidence with what you're giving. Cause if you've made it this far, like clearly you're doing it right. So I think that's always something to keep in mind. So from a, tradi a traditional launch standpoint, one key component is close the doors. I think a lot of people think they have to keep their memberships open all year round. And that's great if it's working for you. I am not saying that you can't do that. However, to create the urgency and, and to be able to focus on the members coming in, because that's also part of the deliverability, right? So you have all these people come in, you need to be able to make sure that you're attending to their needs. And so what we've really found, um, and something like Stu McLaren talks about a lot, so you know he's a great resource as well, is close the doors and offer a twice a year door opening. And that has worked really, really well. But with that sense of this isn't always open and accessible, then you can help garner more momentum for more members to join. And, and you get the larger numbers of joining during those times. And then your work, of course, is to deliver so that you're retaining those customers. And I think, I think that's been a key component for us is making sure that we're not keeping those doors open all the time and doing a traditional launch. I mean, I think that this is also a key portion to it. And we've had a lot of success is treating this like it is a $2,000 product, right? There's mm -hmm. a lot that goes into this and the members that come in and stay are very, very invested in the work of Kate, right? And, and the origin work. And so when we launch, we treat it like a launch. We have a three-part video series. We do the open and close cart, the email sequences. We have webinars. Webinars work really well as well. So that's definitely something. I think then people get a true sense of what the membership is and like how Kate teaches. And so that's been a really a key component. But also having Facebook lives where Kate will go on and take a tour of the members area so people can actually see what they get for that price point each month has been a key component as well. So I think those are like the three major things that we've noticed that garner the most momentum for getting members to join. Obviously we understand, we know you and love you. And we, I think a big, component was that that your customer service experience is so incredible. So we see working with Access Ally as a partnership, right? We know that as um, we go through things, we will be supported by you and the team and questions that come in, we know will be taken seriously. And it feels like a very boutique experience from that partnership aspect. You know, and I think the other component was that we knew that you understood from Access Alley's point of view where we were headed. Your understanding of the membership experience is so incredible that it was like, well, of course we're going to work with them. They get it. They're doing it. They've, they've tried and tested so many different ways. And I think that was one thing that was a no brainer of like, well, of course this, this makes most sense because this is what they do. And, and we, we really felt like, I think this goes for a lot of people, like when you know you're supported and you know that things will come up because in the technological world, things come up, right? We knew that that was a big component for us of like feeling supported. We knew that we needed people who understood the language, who understood the vision and could, you know, speak to the connection and entreport that we were using and with our designer and developer and like all of the components and it would be seamless and it was. <laughs>